I'm Karen Iban and welcome back to Holo Holo, your one stop for all things entertainment from Asia to Hollywood and everything in between. Joining us now is Mikhail Red, a filmmaker who recently directed and wrote his latest film recorder and just made its North American premiere at the Los Angeles Asian Pacific Film Festival. Mikhail is also joined by associate producer Abe Pagtama and producer Pamela L. Reyes. Welcome guys. Hello, thank you for inviting us and uh, you know, keeping yes. keeping quite back. Thank you for being here. Now first, congratulations, North American premiere, but your film actually has been making its way through various film festivals and winning awards, right? Yeah, we had our world premiere at the Cinema Live Film Festival. That's where we got our funding for this film. Mm -hmm. And then we had our international premiere in at the Tokyo International Film Festival. Right. Then we went to France and we won the jury prize at the Anime Film Festival. Uh, we went to Singapore for the Southeast <laughs> Asian Film Festival and now we're here. Yes. And after this, we are going to the Taipei Film Festival. Wow, exciting stuff. Now, I know it started out at Cinema Laya, and then Pamela, you were telling me um, earlier that there was some struggles that you guys faced, obstacles when it came to fundraising, right? Tell me a little bit more. Um, initially, we projected the recorder as a one million project, one million peso project. But halfway, we realized that wasn't the real budget. Uh -huh. So uh, midway, we stopped production because we didn't have enough money. Mm -hmm. We stopped for around a month. But luckily, there was an angel donor, which is our <laughs> executive producer, Butch Jimenez. Uh -huh. uh, he gave, gave a certain amount, and right. we continued yes. shooting. Yeah, we just made it, uh, like, in a couple of months, we finished post prod just in time, you know, for our premiere in Cinema Live. Actually, a day before. A day yeah, before. We were, a day before. <laughs> we were like rendering. We were rendering the uh -huh. final product just a day before the premiere. Yes, uh, thank goodness. It's a passion project, right? I yes. Mean, Abe, how did you become a part of the film? Uh, well, a very close friend of uh, his dad, uh, mm -hmm. Raymond Red, was is of course a Cannes Film Festival uh, winner. Winner, yeah. And so uh, I known Miko since he was 12 years old. <laughs> no, I don't know he's gonna be a filmmaker. <laughs> so uh, that's the connection. And that's uh, when I did uh, another Cinemalaya a year ago, 2012. Uh -huh. uh, Miko told me, hey, Tito, if uh, I can get to Cinemalaya, would you be willing to be? part of our uh, cast. So, yes. so sure, no problem, I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> now, Mikhail, um, what inspired you? Because I heard you were inspired to do this film through a, vi a video that went viral, right? Um, I was 19 years old at the time, and I saw this viral video uh, in the news, mm -hmm. and I was deeply disturbed by it, because uh, the victim was my age. It was a 19-year-old boy who was slain on camera. Right. And uh, I saw you know, a distortion, not just on the video, but in the society uh, I, I grew up in, and that's where the germ of the idea of recorder started. Right. And uh, so I developed this sequence treatment, submitted it to Cinemalaya, and then when I was a semi-finalist, when they chose like the, the 20 scripts, mm -hmm. uh, I decided to get a co-writer, uh, Ian Victoriano, and he, he helped me finish the screenplay. And luckily, we were one of the 10 films chosen by Cinemalaya yes. for the New Breed competition. And luckily, we were able to get Ronnie Kizon our, as our main actor. Mm -hmm. So we are really proud to have him in our film. Yeah. Now, what's the message that you want people to get out of this film? Uh, Recorder, you know, tackles several themes like apathy in, in society and mm -hmm. viral media and uh, closed-circuit television. But I guess one theme in the film is that uh, Social media, viral media, it's a double-edged sword. You know, you can use right. it for, for good, just like in the case of the actual viral video where the perpetrators were caught mm -hmm. because uh, it went online, it, yes. it went viral, and uh, people were able to identify them. And right. you could use it uh, negatively, just like uh, the character in the film where he isolates himself and alienates himself from society. He sees the world through lenses and uh, he hides behind this camera. Yeah, so then there goes your social or human interaction with others, right? Yeah. <laughs> you actually filmed this movie in a totally um, non-traditional way. Tell us a little bit more. Yeah, um, Recorder is a multi-format film. We mm -hmm. used uh, several digital formats, uh -huh. uh, uh, cell phone cameras and webcams, CCTV, mm -hmm. uh, this Japanese toy camera called the digital <laughs> Harinazumi, wow. the black magic cinema camera. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> We uh, integrated, you know, several digital formats and uh, obsolete video formats. And in fact, it was quite a challenge during post-production because we had to, you know, uh, render everything yes. to digital in order to edit it. So yeah. 
we had like this format, the mini VHS, where we had to find a specialist to help us convert oh, it. Wow. <laughs> Go back to the classic yeah. ways, right? Pamela, what were some other obstacles that you guys faced while filming? Well, besides the financial mm -hmm. part, I guess um, scheduling and scheduling with the actors mm -hmm. and scheduling with the equipment because we were sponsored by a couple of companies. Right. So we had to sync everyone's schedule, even the actors and uh, our crew members. So that was kind of the challenging part because yeah. Cinemalaya has a couple of deadlines because mm -hmm. they released the tranches uh -huh. of the budget to us in different dates. Yeah. But you did a pretty good job because I hear it only took about 13 days to film. <laughs> Yeah, initially we yeah. planned for 10 days, but uh -huh. <laughs> I guess 13 days is good 13 enough. is pretty good, <laughs> I think. Now, Abe, you're not only yes. an associate producer, but you're also in the film. Tell yes, us a little bit about your character. Uh, my character really is kind of the one who um, got all the finished product, uh, mm -hmm. was shoot by this guy. Uh -huh. And so I, um, you know, I, I, I'm the one who's going to put it in the market. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm the, the, the good guy. Uh, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's like the, the, pirate. <laughs> the head of the pirating syndicate. Oh, okay. Ooh. <laughs> Did you have fun filming this? <laughs> I, yes, actually, uh, you know, uh, as soon as I arrived in the Philippines mm -hmm. and uh, I scheduled myself that, hey, uh, uh, she started shooting right away right. So, uh, because I have another movie that I have to make. Yeah. So, uh, Busy guy. <laughs> uh, I was able to do it. Uh, you're talking about, you know, uh, uh, timing or yes. scheduling things. Yeah. Right? Uh, Sometimes it's kind of hard. <laughs> Michael, your dad is a legendary filmmaker. Um, did he teach you or did you learn anything from him? Well, he never really uh, pushed me into filmmaking. Uh -huh. uh, of course, growing up, you know, you couldn't escape you know, his influence as an artist. But yeah. uh, I went on it on my own. Like, I was 15 when I started making these, you know, video projects for school and then it became a hobby, I became obsessed with it, so I decided to make short films on my do-it-yourself stuff. Mm -hmm. And then when they started getting into festivals and uh, I got more funding for, for future projects, you know, it just kept on going. And, and w when I turned 20, I, I, I decided to make my first feature film. Well, congratulations. <laughs> now, you're talking about future projects. You're actually, you actually have another project in the works. Can you tell us a little bit more? Well, I can't give away anything yet, but uh, I'm developing a screenplay you know, okay. for, my, for my next film. And mm -hmm. maybe in a year and in two years, you'll see it. That's in the Malaya, <laughs> yeah, and then hopefully it's way here. We still have to develop it and find funding for it. Right, so you and Pamela are working together again and possibly eight. Yes, <laughs> yeah. <but it's> <laughs> now, for more information on Recorder, where can we go? We have a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. um, can you like us, like our page? It's uh, facebook.com slash recorder2013. And yeah, you can find uh, every update, every festival we'll go to. Thank you guys so much and congratulations. Thank you for sharing your story. Yeah, thank you for having us here. Again, for more information on Recorder, you can check out their Facebook page at Recorder2013. Time for a quick break, but we have more Holo Holo news when we return.